Hey guys, welcome out to my latest presentation of the sixth and seventh seal time period overlap. And um, so, yeah, I've been aware of uh, the ongoing uh, differences in the Watcher community about people saying that we're still in the sixth seal and people saying, no, we've got past that now, that's been fulfilled and we're in the seventh seal. So I never really took much time to study uh, chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 of uh, the book of Revelations in the last uh, 12 months since the pandemic uh, kicked off. So I thought I'd take the time to read them to see if I could kind of get a better understanding of uh, why we have this problem. And I've come up with some little uh, kind of comparisons and theories and uh, see if we can bring a little bit more harmony as to why we have this uh, these differences and what they mean. Okay, so without further ado, let's kick off. So, um, background to this new theory hypothesis that I've come up with. So, I've looked through uh, scriptures uh, to see why we have these contradictions or comparisons and this conflict. So, basically, I can see where it comes from, and it comes from uh, different scriptures that have um, a lot of similarities. So, six seal event uh, in Revelation chapter six, it says, "I beheld when we when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree." Um, Casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. So if you compare that with um, seven, the seventh seal scriptures in Revelation chapter 8, they're more or less identical. So it says, And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters, and the name of the star is called Wormwood, and the third part of the waters became wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. And the fourth angel sounded, and a third part of the sun was smitten, and a third part of the moon, and a third part of the stars, so as the third part of them was darkened. And the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. <clears throat> so there's more scriptures. They're also uh, are identical between both of these seals. Uh, this one is in Revelation 6, still on the left hand side. It says, And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places, and the kings of the earth, and great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and uh, every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. So we read in Revelation chapter 8 on the right hand side from the seventh seal. And the seventh angel poured out his vial into the air, and there were voices, thunders, lightnings, and there was a great earthquake, such as was not uh, since men were upon the earth, so a mighty an earthquake, and so great. And the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon. And every island fled away and the mountains were not and there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven uh, every stone about the weight of a talent and men blaspheme god because of the plague of hail for the plague of uh, thereof was exceedingly great and that's revelation 8. so once again we have more comparisons here uh, from the sixth seal we've got and the stars of heaven fell Unto the earth, even as a fig cast of her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the seventh seal scripture uh, is identical. It says, And the first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire, mingled with blood, and they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of the trees was burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. And even in Daniel 9, there's another scripture that compares to both of these, which is end times, referring to the time at the end. Out of one of them came forth Little Horn, which I still believe to this day is Bill Gates. Some say it's Obama. Um, 
but I'm still favourable of gates, which waxeth exceedingly great towards the south and towards the east and towards the pleasant land, and it waxed great even to the host of heaven, and it cast down some of the host uh, of the stars of the ground and stamped upon them. That is still kind of open to interpretation. Um, I am ever changing about the scripture. Um, you know, um, yeah, I'd like to elaborate, but I'm going to keep this simple uh, for now and just get through this presentation rather than coming up with random things from the top of my head. So let's move on. So this is my um, six and seven seal timeline uh, theory. So as you can see, uh, the sixth seal um, opened um, according to our church's teachings uh, in 1000 AD and has continued all the way, um, even till now. And it has actually continued into the 21st century because of the unfulfilled events and we have the seventh seal being opened in the year 2000 which is also according to our church's teachings as well uh, but as you can see there's half an hour silence in heaven whereby none of the trumpets are sounded so there's actually a bit of a delay in the tr in um, the trumpets being sounded even after the e uh, the, the seventh seal is opened, um, and also there is a delay in the fulfilment of the six seal events. Uh, and why is this uh, the case? Well, because they all converge um, into uh, the seven year tribulation, which goes from 2020 to 2027. So, um, yes, so we have a convergence of these events uh, because actually um, some of them are one and the same thing and then others have just not been fulfilled yet, like the sealing of the 12, uh, the lost uh, 10 tribes of Israel. Um, so, yeah, um, so in Doctrine and Covenants, section 88, it says... For not many days hence, and the earth shall uh, tremble, and reel to and fro, as a drunken man, and the sun shall hide his face, and he shall refuse to give light, and the moon shall be bathed in blood, and the stars shall become exceedingly angry, and sh shall cast themselves down as a fig that falleth from off a fig tree. And after your testimony cometh uh, wrath and indignation upon the people, for after your testimony cometh the testimony of earthquakes, that shall cause groanings in the midst of her, and men shall fall upon the ground, and shall not be able to stand. And also cometh the testimony of the voice of thunderings, and the voice of lightnings, and the voice of tempests, and the voice of the waves of the sea, even themselves beyond their bounds. All things shall be in commotion, and surely men's hearts shall fail them. For fear shall come upon all people, an angel so it shall fly through the midst of heaven, crying with a loud voice, sound on the trump of God, saying, Prepare ye, prepare ye, O inhabitants, ye of the earth, for the judgment of God is come, and behold, and lo, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. So it reads on in section 88, it says, And immediately there shall appear a great sign in heaven, and all people shall see it together. Um, and another angel shall sound as trump, saying, That great church, the mother of abominations, that made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of their fornication, that persecuteth the saints of God, that shed their blood, she who sitteth upon many waters and upon the isles, islands of the sea. Behold, she is the tears of the earth, she is bound in bundles. Her bonds are made strong, no man can loose them, therefore she is ready to be burned. And he shall sound as trump, both long and hard both long and loud, and all nations shall hear it together. And there shall be silence in heaven for the space of half an hour, and immediately after shall the curtain of heaven be unfolded, eh, as a scroll eh, is unfolded after it is rolled up, and the face of the Lord shall be unveiled. And the saints that are caught, that are upon the earth, who are alive, shall be quickened and be caught up to meet him. 
In Revelation 12 as well, we see uh, similar things about um, uh, stars being cast to the earth. Um, so um, this uh, Revelation 12, I believe, talks about uh, most of the events in the seven year tribulation. And there appeared the great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her a crown of 12 stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. <coughs> and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and 10 horns and seven crowns upon his heads and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born so some unfulfilled events from the sixth seal here we have in revelation 6 uh, regarding the lost uh, tribes of israel they uh, saying hear not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. Uh, they were sealed in 140 and 4,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. I used to think that this had been fulfilled in the temple, um, possibly, but I still don't think it has been. Uh, this is an actual event, <coughs> um, a big event, a huge event uh, that will take place, uh, I think, uh, 2024 onwards i can't see it being any time before that um so seals are open but judgment is reserved so chapter six of book revelations it says christ opens the six seals and john sees the events therein and the fifth in the fifth seal he sees the christian martyrs and in the sixth seal he sees the signs of the times and I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. So I'll leave a video in the description box below, uh, a really good video by a Christian pastor who talks about how this is being fulfill fulfilled at the moment with uh, Fauci and the white-coated uh, scientists. Um, so, when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast come, they say, come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat uh, to take peace, sat, sat there on to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, come and see. And I beheld, and lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou, hear not the oil and the wine. So once again, that shows about to, uh, like being told not to do any harm just yet. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast saying, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse in his name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of, fourth, fourth part of the earth uh, to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. Um, and when we when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they had held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? So once again, <clears throat> um, this is uh, the fifth seal being opened, and even the martyrs plea to say, Why hasn't judgment happened upon people as yet and it's all because the lord has deferred judgment till the time of the end so this is my final uh, slide for this presentation uh, this is the evidence uh, of horsemen being reserved for judgment day so if we read in book of revelations um it says uh, that the sixth angel which had which had the trumpet 
loose uh, the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. So I believe that's the four horsemen being bound till the time of the end. And the four angels were loosed, uh, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year to slay the third part of men. Now we know that one of the angels alone will slay one fourth of the population. Um, so it says here, um, and the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, uh, which is um, 200 a million. And I heard the number of them. And I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat them uh, sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were the heads of lions and out of their mouth issued fire and brimstone. So I do believe that this is a god with um, possibly lost tribes or some angels. Uh, I don't really stand convinced anymore that this is referred to Satan's armies but more like God's armies to destroy because uh, I think God's going to put a bit of a show on at the end um, and it's going to be a surprising show um, so that's the end of my presentation for today and uh, thanks for watching take care and please subscribe